Hi, this is Claudia Jan. I just read a post on a business website and there was a woman sharing that she was invited somewhere to give a presentation. And she said, no, no. And the reason was because she felt I'm not good enough. I don't know enough. Maybe I'm not able to present it in the way that the people will like it. And actually, I, I feel a little sad when I read things like that. And I think the world right now needs us women, needs female energy. And we hold back. But why? Why do especially women hold back? I don't hear men say, oh, no, I'm not good enough. This is a typical female sentence. And maybe it goes back like to childhood when your father didn't appreciate you or you feel like you didn't get enough attention of your dad. This is often what I hear from clients. And maybe it's also at school that you gave a little presentation in school and somebody laughed and maybe not even about you, but you, you thought it was about you. And still today, People think, oh, women and girls are not as important. It's more important that the boys are well-educated. But women are really well-educated this in these times. And it's a pity that we hold back. And how many women are there who are in an office job just doing their daytime and not in a leading function, not in a leading position? sharing ideas and and changing the world now we're always like the, the the little bees you know we we do our our work but we're not the ones who change the world we're not the ones who are appreciated who who go forward and there are so many reasons for this and often it's a family pattern you know from from family constellation it's like the the last uh, few generations affect us like the last five or last seven um affect us so look back what did your grandmothers experience what did your great grandmothers experience did they have the opportunity to to speak out loud and, and share their worldview and were they, they appreciated or did they have to work really hard to make a living and to support the family? And look back and also look into your life. What are these little events that created this belief? Like, I'm not good enough. I'm not smart enough. Maybe you heard I'm not good at school. I'm not good at writing. I'm not good in, in math or whatever. These are this beliefs about yourself, the picture you have about yourself. And actually, it's quite easy to change these. We have these new modern tools like EFT, energy psychology, and you can change all of this. And when you change your inner pictures, people will react different to you and your outer world will change. And this is really a beautiful process. What do you think? Do you think this is really a female topic or this is also for men? Share in the comments. And if you want my support in changing your inner pictures, I'm happy to be there for you. Just write me a notice. I'll go back to you. Bye-bye.